Hi guys, John here. So, checking out my YouTube channel account. And I just got my 602nd subscriber. And just over 72,700 channel views. Thanks guys, and um, I really appreciate you guys enjoying my videos. So, um, today we're going to do a uh, care sheet video on the Hysterocrates Geekus, which is the Cameroon Red Baboon. <laughs> it's pretty warm today, it's at least uh, 25 degrees centigrade. Second warmest day in April, which is very unusual. So, before I do that, I got a request from Tickerman73 asked me how do I keep my tarantulas very warm and humid uh, throughout the year. Well. For heat sources, I use a heater, a space heater that I got from um, Home Depot for about 30 bucks. It's a twin ceramic home heater and has about 1500 watt power, so it takes about 15 minutes to heat the whole room up, so I only keep it around 3 or 4 hours a day or whenever I'm in the room. And for humidity, even though I missed, I use this humidifier this Bionair and keeps it pretty cool yeah I have to put some water in here okay so now with that said let's do an overview of my new tarantula that I got on Friday sweet <clears throat> alrighty so here is Hysterocrates gigas commonly known as the red baboon tarantula so these come from Cameroon which is a country in Africa so being that these are African tarantulas um, they are unfortunately a victim of African delicacy where people tend to eat them and fry them that's why if you ever saw um, documentaries on uh, Natural Geographic and the Discovery Channel where they're eating and they're bringing them alive and that's sad, really, but, you know, people gotta eat, you know, it's part of the food chain. Okay, so, let's give an overview of this tarantula. Okay, because these are baboons, these make them old-world terrestrial species. So, being an old-world terrestrial, you can expect them to have a pretty nasty temper, um, very defensive, and quite bitey and have potent venom so that's why for this reason you shouldn't handle them and which makes them very suitable for the experienced keepers only so you can tell uh, here's Tocrates genus you can see that the hind leg is kind of thickish compared to the other um, legs so this is pretty much typical of your baboons and your Scytheraceous crochethi which I'm assuming this is a close relative of this uh, species. These tarantulas get up to having a six inch leg span so what you're looking at is a four inch sub adult female. They come in two different colors. The red color form which you see in this video and the blackish color form which is actually pretty cool to look at. <clears throat> okay so temperatures for these guys you have to keep them really warm since in Cameroon temperatures are really between 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit so that's pretty accurate for keeping an H. gigas. Uh, humidity, they need a lot of humidity. Uh, it basically, they require about the same as a T. blondie. So that's between 80 to 85 percent humidity. So if you can attain that and keep it very warm, you should have no trouble keeping them. So what I use is that um, Sphagnum moss, as I said in many of my videos, that sphagnum moss is really, really good in keeping the humidity up. So I load, I load it just back at the cave. I miss about once or twice a week. I was actually missed it this morning, so you can actually see the substrate is pretty moist in there. What's really unique about these species is that they have this excellent swimming capability and they're very good swimmers. If you've probably seen Tarantula Guy 1976's video of his H. Giga swimming. So what you can do is that you can put a little bowl of water 
a deep bowl and you can see whether or not it swims or not. And I'm going to try that in uh, next week and see how, if she actually swims or not. I'll make a good video of it. I'm just get letting her get accustomed to her surroundings um, before I actually uh, give her a pool. So you have a little small water, which is all nece it's always necessary. You gotta load it up with substrate in here. I have about four inches of uh, African potting soil, which is uh, substrate that I showed you in my transfer in the Gigas video. <clears throat> so I have about half the um, critter keeper cover because I really don't want the tarantula escaping while I do cage maintenance. You know, like missing the cage or uh, feeding it or taking all the dead crickets out. So I really want to prevent um, any escapes from happening. Okay, so a little recap on them. So these are for the experts only. They get up to about having a six inch leg span. Humidity, keep them around 80 to 85 percent and temperatures between 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, pretty much you should do fine. So once again, Hysterocrates Gigas, my newest addition. Cameroon Red Baboon. Sweet. So, hope you enjoyed it. Peace, guys.